In this tutorial, we will learn how to place dimensions in AutoCAD drawing. At first, we will choose Annotate to Dimension Style so that we can easily change the scale. To select Annotate to Dimension Style, click on Annotation, click here and select Annotate to. Then you can place vertical and horizontal dimension using this linear command, dim linear. Click on it. Give the first point, give the second point, give the location. Then increase the scale from here so that it will be visible properly. Now, here I don't want these four zeros, for that press D, enter, click on modify, and to remove the zeros, click on these primary units, click on this precision, and select the single zero. Then I want this dimension above the dimension line for that click on this text from your vertical center click here and select above and I want this dimension to be aligned with dimension line then click on this ISO standard so it will be above and aligned with dimension line and click on OK click on close then using linear you can give dimension to vertical line also select linear you can place dimension by selecting the object also to give the dimension by selecting the object, press enter and then select the object and give the location. Then next is aligned. If you want to give dimension to inclined line, then you will have to use aligned dimension. Click on aligned, click the first point, click the second point, give the location. Then if you want to give angle between two objects, then use the angular dimension. Click on angular, select the first object, select the second object, then take your cursor on the side where you want to place the dimension and click there. Now here I want to give dimension to this line from the horizontal line. Now horizontal line is not there, so at first I will have to create one horizontal line, then place the dimension. Click on line, select the first point, keep ortho on so that line will come straight, click there and escape. Then again click on angular dimension, click the first object, click the second object and give the location. Then next is arc length. If you want to give length to arc, click on arc length, then select the arc and give the position. It will add the arc length symbol automatically. Then next is radius, click on radius, select the circle or arc to which you want to add the radius dimension and take your cursor away and click there. Now here internal line is not shown. If you want to add the internal line then give D, enter, modify, then click on this fit and click here draw a dim line between extension line. Ok, close. Then it will add the internal line. The next is diameter. If you want to add the diameter of the circle, click on diameter, then select the circle and give the position for the dimension. Now if you want to modify this dimension to add some node, suppose I want to add two holes dia 20, then double click on this text, then type the node two holes, then dia 20 is already there, click outside. In this way you can customize the note. Then next is ordinate dimension. Suppose I want to give ordinate for this dimension. In ordinate dimension at first you will have to define your datum 00. To define the datum 00 give the UCS command. Enter. Then give the origin point. Click point for x direction. Click point for y direction. Now this point is defined as a 00. Now click here and select ordinate. Now this point I want to define as a 0. Click on the start point, give the position, make ortho on, so line will come straight, click there. Now this is 0 y and same way you can add the 0 x. And then with respect to this 0 0 you can add the datum direction. Click the point, give the location. Same way you can add datum for x also. Again click on ordinate and give the positions. 
in this way you can add ordinate dimensions then next is jog click on the jog now here we have seen that when we add radius dimension your internal line is shown from the center point but in some cases if you don't want to show the line from center point and want to show the radius line from some other point at that time you can use this jog dimension select the arc or circle then define the overhead center location that means the location from where you want to show the radius line i want to show from here then specify the dimension line location how you want to show the dimension like this then click for the jog location in this way you can add jog dimension for other type of dimension click on annotate now here is some other types are there next is continue if you want to give dimension in one line suppose here i want to place dimension in one line for placing the continue dimension at first you will have to give one dimension by linear or align dimension i will give dimension by linear click on linear give the first point second point and location then to give continue dimension click on continue and you just have to specify the second point and to stop the dimension press escape same way next option is baseline if you want to give dimension from one line suppose here i want to place the dimension using baseline again for baseline you will have to place one dimension by linear or aligned click here and select linear then place the first dimension then click on baseline and you just have to place the second point so it will automatically add the dimension from the first line then press escape to come out then if you want to add geometric tolerance then click on this geometric tolerance then here you will have to choose the symbol suppose i want to add perpendicular then give the tolerance value then you can add different symbol from here as per your requirement then here you can define the datum what what is the reference datum then click on okay then place the dimension where you want to place it then we want to place the arrow arrow we want to add using annotative style to change the multilinear style to annotative click here and select annotative then click on the multilinear give the position for the arrow give the second point location and click there and press escape and if you want to move midpoint of this to the end point of this give the move command select the object enter then to catch the midpoint between these two points shift right click and click on mid between two points select the two points and give the end point of this leader in this way you can place the geometric tolerance symbol now to create the datum a for the geometric tolerance symbol you will have to create one triangle for that click on home and select the polygon command then give the number of edges to be 3 then click on edge and give the first point of the edge give the second point then to fill this give the hatch command then from here select the solid and click inside and close on hatch creation create one line from here to here escape then to create the box for datum again click on annotate click on dimension select tolerance then click here and give a okay and click here then move it give the m enter select the object enter take the midpoint on the end point of this in this way you can give the geometric tolerance using datum and geometric tolerance symbol that's all thanks for watching we will stop here